What's going on, y'all? Got another reaction video. This one is entitled Watch Kamala Harris Bomb So Bad Even Oprah Was Over It. Here we go. This is going to be good. So as mentioned, Kamala Harris had an event with Oprah last night. Uh, Oprah pretended to interview her, and we were treated to some of the most um, some of the most Kamala Harris answers we've ever heard. <laughs> and I'll save the worst one for last, or the worst oh, one, depending on how you look at it. First, here's Kamala struggling to give an approximation of an answer when she's asked about her plan for the border. Pretty simple. Pretty, it's a good question. Simple, straightforward question. Right. Uh, but she struggles to answer it. Let's watch. When you become president, what would be your uh, specific yeah. steps? Yeah, of <laughs> course. What would be your specific steps to strengthening the border? Ooh. So it's a wonderful and important question. Um, I, you know, my background was as a prosecutor. Oh, I, I, I can't stand the way this lady talks. Just get to the point, General lady. In terms of a border state. So this is not a theoretical um, issue for me. This is something I've actually worked on. Okay. I have prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. I take very seriously the importance of having a secure border and ensuring the safety of the American people. Uh, sadly, where we are now can be traced most recently back to the fact that when... Is this lady going to answer the question? Oh, I can't stand politicians, man, the way they talk. United States Congress, members of the Congress, including some of the most conservative Republicans, mm -hmm. came up with a border security bill. And here's what that border security bill would have done. It would have put 1,500 more border agents. It's insulting to this dude, like she's not even answering the question. Border. Let me tell you, those border agents are working around the clock. It would have just been about giving them some support and relief, which is probably why the border agents actually endorsed the bill. It would have allowed us to stem the flow of fentanyl. And I'm looking at people from all over the country here, so I don't need to tell the folks who are watching this what fentanyl has done Lady. to families, to, to kids in our country, and the need to take seriously stemming the flow coming into our country and addressing that extraordinary and, and tragic issue in terms of... Oh, I can't do, oh, bro, I can't do this. I can't, man. <laughs> this lady's in line for president to be voted on. Ugh. The bill would have allowed us to have more resources to prosecute transnational criminal organizations. Mm. And it would have been part of the solution. Mm. And Donald Trump. Oh, come on. Why you got to bring him out here? Those folks and said, don't put that bill on the floor for a vote. Comrade Kamala Harris doesn't have much <laughs> to offer. She has no policies, was, no solutions. Yo, that was on cue, bro. Thing her campaign has is money. <laughs> they get it from a lot of people that you don't. Oh hear man, about. that was on cue, it's bro. Not the people that you agree with. Yo. The donation of just ten dollars. <laughs> that was oh, like that was awesome, bro. Will help us to fight and. To well, so to answer Justin's question, now that that bill has gone and hasn't passed, will you reintroduce that? Absolutely. And when I am elected president of the United States, I will make sure that bill gets to my desk. Okay, right. So a few things here. She doesn't answer the question. Right. She's asked uh, what she'll do to fix the border. Simple question. Simple right. Question. Answers with a long winding discourse about how the border <laughs> problems are Trump's fault. It's insulting to the guy that asked the question. Like he didn't get it. So he didn't get an answer. She gives her own plan, needs Oprah to come in at the end and answer the question for her, like literally as her spokeswoman. Why is in Oprah running for president? But notice something else. She begins her answer by saying that she has worked on this problem because she was the attorney general of California. Right. But wait a second. You worked on this problem as attorney general of California, you say, but I, I thought, didn't you work on this problem as vice president? <laughs> Why didn't you say you worked on the problem in the role that you currently have. Right, because there's no experience there. Like, that's that's an odd thing. Well, why didn't she say that? Well, because everyone knows the problem is worse now. It's very worse. Wow. It's, it's like uh, it's like when I was when I was 19 or whatever and I was uh, Bro, like just those videos, like have you seen those videos of those that huge mass of people just coming straight from South America all 
marching their way all the way to America, and then they come in here. Oh, it's the crazy world. Interviewing for a job at, I think it was maybe Home Depot, and I gave three, you know, references from previous employers, but I didn't, I did not include my most recent job as a reference. And of course, the interviewer asked me about that. <laughs> and the reason I didn't include it is because I got fired from that job. <laughs> so we're, we're just gonna skip over. We're gonna skip. Over. We're gonna skip over. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Thing I did most recently, and I'll tell you about stuff from a couple of years ago. How about that? <laughs> And I still got the job because I still got the job. Um, <laughs> but it's a similar kind of thing, but much worse in this case. Right. When you're skipping over the most recent job you had, <laughs> when you're trying, which is vice president, like that's the highest job she's ever had. So, uh, you know, when you're when you're trying to explain why you should get a new job. <laughs> And you're going back to jobs. I'm trying to explain why you're getting a new job that's higher than vice president, and you can't you can't tell any references or any anything that you've done as the lower, you know, the one the position right below it. It's ridiculous. Years ago, but but skipping the the one that you actually have right now, well, that tells us something about how you performed in that job. A <laughs> um, couple of other moments. Let's go here. This is Kamala talking about being a gun owner. Oh, no. What is she going to say uh, now? And using language and a, a tone here that we have not seen from her. No, oh, here we in go. The past when it comes to this particular issue. Let's watch. I'm, I'm a gun owner. Tim Walls is a gun. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody that breaks in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, I hear that. I and it seems like this lady's drunk every time she's on camera. Seems like that for a lot of politicians. It's insulting to the American people, bro. I probably should not have said that. <laughs> <laughs> but my I, staff will deal with that later. Yeah. <laughs> what? My staff will deal with that later? God, this lady's embarrassing. Yeah, so funny. Laugh it up. Laugh it up there, Chuckles. Uh, right. So you support gun rights for yourself, but not for the rest of us. That's yeah, right. So the hilarious joke here. Come on. Is that, uh, is that yeah, her, she's going to protect her house with a gun because she's important. Right. She, even, she basically admits her hypocrisy because she says that her staff isn't going to, you know, she shouldn't have said that. Her staff's going to have to deal with it. Man, what is it? They take away the guns bef before... If you take away guns from the people, you take away their 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 ability to for, of the right to bear arms in case of tyrannical government. But what do you mean they're going to have to deal with it? Why? Like why? Is in case a tyrannical government decides to to have you know power, like like I, I guess it's socialism or the like the was it the Germans or the Nazis or whatever. I think I'm not sure. I think this is true. Hitler took away the guns first, so there's steps that they take until they finally have power over their citizens in like a dictatorship or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what to call it, but what isn't one of the things first that they do is take away the guns? Problem that you said that. Trump could say something like that, and his staff would not be upset. It wouldn't be something he had to deal with later. Because saying that you would shoot an intruder in your home is a totally normal thing. It's not controversial. Right. Nearly every American citizen feels the same way. It's only a problem for you, and you're aware that it's a problem for you, because in your case, it's hypocritical. Ooh. Because you're a gun-grabbing tyrant. Right. So she's essentially admitting that. Tyrant. There we go. Finally, we get to the, the grand finale. Oh, uh, no. Here I we don't, go. I, I don't know what the question was that sparked this ramble, <laughs> but... It is, it's long, as you would expect from right. anything that Kamala Harris says. It is long and entirely empty of meaning. Mm -hmm. We kind of have to no. watch the whole thing. because this. I is, don't want to watch it. something to behold. It is, this is Kamala Harris. This is, if you had to summarize Kamala Harris in two minutes, you would do it with this right here. Okay, let's go. We love our country. I love our country. Mm. I know we all do. That's why everybody here. I can't do right it, bro. Now. We love our country. We oh, I can't do this. Oh my god. This uh it's so embarrassing. 
We take pride in the privilege of being American. And Look at this Oprah, is a bro. moment where we can and must come together as Americans, understanding we have so much more in common than we I do not want this lady to be president. Let's come together with the, the character that we are so proud of about who we are, which is we are an optimistic I do not want people. Kamala Harris to be president. We are an optimistic people. America. Oh, I hate the word salad, Kamala Harris. Just, just tell us the truth. Just be truthful and honest with us. We don't need to hear all this fluff. By character are people who have dreams and ambitions and aspirations. We believe in what... This Kamala Harris is so out of touch. She's so out of touch with people, with the with community, with the Amer actual American people. <sighs> possible we believe in what can be and we believe in fighting for that that's how that's how we came into being because the people these people like her man they prey on people on on they prey on people that don't know history people that don't understand what's really going on the there, there's 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 a group of people that sh that Kamala Harris doesn't ensnare so easily. For us, understood that one of the greatest expressions for the love of our country, one of the greatest expressions of patriotism, is to fight for the ideals of who we are. She likes to. I think that she's like. She likes the way she talks. She likes to hear herself talking which includes freedom to make decisions about your own body freedom oh, to be safe up. from gun violence freedom to have access to the ballot box freedom to be who you are and just be to love who you love openly and with pride freedom to Hush. just be hmm. and that's what are you saying who we are we believe in all that and so this is a moment <laughs> where we stand knowing what we are fighting for. We're not oh, fighting no, against. Oh, no, be quiet. It's what we're fighting for. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Vice President. I, I, I think that Oprah kind of sums it up at the end. She goes, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, this is, she's, she's trying to do the speech <laughs> at the end of, uh, the inspirational Disney movie from the 90s. Right, right. <laughs> you know, she's trying to do that. And you can almost hear the piano music that <laughs> she must be hearing. In right, her head. exactly. Well, she likes to hear what she's talking about. She's saying this, but she can't, she can't even get that right because she lacks the necessary coherence <laughs> because she's a moron. So... She's trying to do something vapid and cliched, right? Uh, which would be bad enough. It's like she's working too hard, bro. But she can't. That is a level beyond what she's capable of achieving because <laughs> she's so stupid. I mean, let me <laughs> just one line from that ramble. Oh, no. Here we go. She says, let's come together with the character that we are so proud of about who we are. Let's come together with the character that we're so proud of about who we are. That that doesn't mean I, I, I it, it literally means nothing. I don't know how to interpret that. I'm not <laughs> right. even trying to be. Yeah, it's like when you actually read it yourself instead of listening to it. It's probably like, what the heck is he saying? Uh, you, you know, intentionally obtuse to make a point about. I don't know what she's trying to say. I, I really don't. It's, it's pure abject nonsense. Oh, shoot. Very, very dumb. Only a very dumb person is capable of saying something like that. <laughs> it's so dumb that it makes you feel like you're having a stroke when you yeah. listen to it. Right, right. This is, people say that it's word salad. This is not word salad. This mm. is, these are words fed into a wood chipper. This is, this is linguistic goulash. Mass murder. This is a, a, a a vocabulary genocide. It's she's slaughtering. She's slaughtering words. Wow. Not not making a mere salad of them. Oh man. 
And this the thing about Kamala's. And what gets me is like people are like, oh, Kamala Harris. Oh, no, like use your mind, use your brain. Discernment. Circuitous, disjointed um, digressions. It, it's nonsensical and vapid and uh, and quite verbose in the emptiest and, and most shallow way possible. But at the core of it, to the extent that she's saying anything at all, what she's saying is also twisted and evil. Mm. Because the only parts of this ramble that made any sense, the only parts mm. that, when I say make sense, I mean are intelligible. The only parts that were intelligible right. were the parts where she says that America is built on abortion, gay marriage, and gun confiscation. Oh. That's, like the three things that the founders of our country either specifically repudiated right. in the case of gun confiscation, or in the case of the other two, never repudiated because they were so unthinkable in those days that they didn't even they didn't need to be addressed. Wow, exactly. And certainly three things that are not uh, uh, rights enumerated in the Constitution. Uh -huh. um, and yet these are the rights, the freedoms that the new truths. Well, we don't want the old we don't want the old stuff for what we don't want the old stuff for what the constitution was meant for we don't want the inspiration for the inspiration for the constitution christian christian godly principles we don't want that we want new principles and and these are them and you have to believe them now iris says the entire is what there is what i'm seeing they it is happening is built on uh Nonsensical and evil. Mm. Everything she says is kind of a, it's a, it's a cocktail of a uh, evil. Is a good word and to use in this case. Evil. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can ask shout out Matt Walsh. You guys uh, go check out this video. I'll leave a link in the description to the original video. Like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have a good one. Bye.